Good morning. My name is uh, Jean-Francois Barril. I'm the CEO of Connecting Partners and the uh, former CPO of uh, Nokia. So today I would like to share with you some of my experience in the context of supply chain about sourcing for quartz-based uh, components. So although it's, it's a mature, very mature technology, as you know, it's a very, very different type of component that we are talking about here. Uh, and as such, it becomes very challenging to source them. Uh, Number one, it's concentrated into very few suppliers. If you are talking about uh, large volume, like for the um, uh, OEM using this in, uh, in massive volume, uh, we are talking about three main, main suppliers, all located in the same region of the globe. Um, then if you talk for, for a person in charge of, the, of the, the sourcing, it's another category to take care of and with a huge dependency on suppliers, which means uh, also uh, you need to invest a lot of uh, time uh, uh, on this relationship with these suppliers. And uh, last but not least, uh, it's a very spec sensitive uh, item, which makes uh, very, very difficult uh, when you have to, to swap from one supplier to another one because of uh, interoperability issues. As you know, uh, quartz-based components are quite cheap. Um, even so, a sense is a sense in my uh, previous industry. Uh, but let's say uh, you are missing, uh, for some reason, for quality issues, or uh, you cannot swap correctly uh, the component, you are missing five million uh, volume, which is quite easy, in fact. Uh, times the ASP of a phone, uh, $200 um, uh, per phone. So you end up uh, quite close to the $1 billion, uh, $1 billion in all the books. It's a very, very important uh, number. So I think this is illustrating the relevance. Yes, it's cheap per component, but the dramatic impact that it can induce is, is enormous. Any disruption into a fast-run supply chain has a dramatic impact on the top line, bottom line, and cash. So I'll give you an example to put that into, into the context of uh, Nokia. Three days of inventory, so basically just in time, uh, 200 billion components that we source every, every year. So if you start to introduce a grain of sand into uh, this uh, beautiful uh, oily machine that you have designed for your supply chain, then this has potentially a dramatic impact on, on the output and the efficiency of this one. You dream that all components can be integrated. I mean, basically, you have to source, of course, it will be difficult to source one component, but one component will do almost everything. So, uh, so ultimately, uh, you, you want to have not discrete components, but you want to have them at least in a system, in, a, in package. And ultimately, what you want to have is a system on chip, if it is possible. That's one thing. The second thing that we'll probably you, you want to have is everything is based on CMOS. Why CMOS? Because it's a very, very mature technology. Everybody knows CMOS. It's, well, uh, it's very simple to produce, um, and uh, you, you have a very, very large base. So, so everything which is CMOS is probably 10 times easier to source than anything else which is not on the CMOS process. And this will have a tremendous impact on your logistics, of course, on the cost, the performance, because it is integrated, the size is obvious uh, in a mobile phone, for example, you are always chasing for, for size. Another thing that you are chasing is power consumption. So really, I believe the game changer is the MEMS uh, because they have the capability to be integrated and hopefully in the future fully integrated. Uh, this will be uh, a, a true miracle for supply chain uh, leaders and managers and direct impact on cost, uh, as explained before, uh, time, uh, space or real estate on your design, uh, power consumption, and uh, last but not least, in terms of uh, the time that you spend uh, for superior management. This new technology has to have the capability to deliver for very, very high volume at a very competitive cost. And I believe the, the selection of uh, Global Foundry is a very, very uh, promising uh, partnership uh, that Sun9 has, uh, has uh, created. The second one uh, is probably the passion uh, to create an integrated solution, and not only 
a pin-to-pin -pin compatible replacement for quartz component. And that's what they are doing. Uh, and uh, ultimately, hopefully, going to uh, uh, system on chip. Uh, last but not least, you need to be able to address the largest uh, volume devices. And today, this is basically smartphone and uh, Internet of Things. And the, the, performance, the performance that they have been able to demonstrate so far uh, entitle them to, to be able to play a major role into this industry. Mm -hmm.